All right, welcome to Prague Music Lover. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and I will be doing educational videos like this. We're not gonna be streaming on Twitch anymore. It's just not happening. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about making a demo. So one thing that happens when you wanna get your ideas out there is for me, I wanna play fast and I can't always play the things that I'm writing as fast as I would like to record them. So there's a technique we can use using our digital audio workstation to speed up the things we've recorded in order to hear them and actually say, wow, that's something that I like or that's something that I don't like instead of just always having to listen to it in MIDI. So this is more for like recording artists if you're recording your own music. Okay, so I have this uh, MIDI file and I the po important part here is that it's at 135. That's fast for me and it would take me a while to learn that. So with this technique, I can s record it at a very slow tempo and then use the DAW to speed it up and it does it automatically. So this is something that has really helped me because for me, when you're making a song, it's been a lot easier when I can have all the parts in front of me at the right tempo, everything I need. But what used to hold me back was it would take me forever to learn how to play the parts. And that's just time that I'm losing. Because then sometimes you would go back and say, you know what, this part isn't that good. And I spent, you know, a whole week learning how to do the syncopation and now it's not worth it. Okay, so we have this, uh, these two parts right here, the little descending arpeggios and then this syncopated rhythm on the top. Okay, so as you can see, that's what it sounds like. All right, so here I have my, my DAW, and I went ahead and recorded these parts at a really slow tempo um, so that I can show you this technique, but let me just show you what you need to do. Okay, so when you're in your DAW, you need to hit Shift-C, and that will bring up this menu of the tempo time signature marker, and you set the tempo to a slow tempo that you can play it at, so you can figure that out with a tap tempo on your phone or using the tap tempo that's here in Reaper and you can tap it in. So let's say you wanna play it at 55 and that's way slower than 135. So you just hit okay and then you turn on your metronome and you can start recording. And what I'll do is I'll have my sheet music like so on my second screen and then I will sight read it as the metronome is playing, but I'm playing it at super slow. So like I said, I already recorded these parts in advance because I've made this video like a hundred times now. Okay, so this is what they set this is what those guitar parts sound like, and I recorded them at 40 beats per minute. Okay. So they're they're perfectly in time, but they're super slow. So what you do now is you can either drag them to where you want them to be or you can copy and paste. I'm just gonna copy and paste. And this is where the fun begins. Okay, so now you can see they fit into where they're supposed to be. And it ri says right here, the rate has changed to 3.375 and Reaper retains the pitch of what you played so you can hear it um, at the pitch and the t key that you originally played it in. So that's why this tool is so useful. So this is what the rhythm sounds like. All right. So yeah, that would have taken forever if I would have had to learn how to play those parts. So like I said, I also recorded those arpeggios. So here they are. Super slow. And I, and I recorded them one at a time just to make it even easier. So that's what I'm saying. You can really, you know, take a load off your ha hands or whatever it is you use to play. You, uh, yeah, it would work with singing too if you really wanted to. I'm not sure what it would sound like, but like I said, the quality isn't going to be the same as like the quality of you're going to actually release the song. But you, this is demo quality, so you can start, you know, moving things around and putting things where you want them to be. 
All right. So then I already moved them here, but I'll just uh, show you for the sake of the video. You can see that they are at 2.455 because I recorded them at 55. And they're in the 135 section. So here it comes. This is what this part would sound like if I could actually play it. Awesome. So yeah, let me put it on repeat so you can kind of get that loopy feel. Okay, so it sounds a little nervous, a little anxious, and that's definitely something I was going for. And I couldn't really hear, I could hear it a little bit in the MIDI. But when I play with my guitar and my bass guitar, my band, it sounds, it, it really comes across a lot more. And now I can decide, does this, do I need to change something? Does this sound good? And I didn't have to rely on MIDI and I didn't have to wait until I could actually play these parts before I decided if this is something I want to continue with. So you can make demos like this uh, at the speeds that you want. And then later on, as you have more time, as you've heard the song more, you take your time learning the parts. That way you don't have to stress out or waste a lot of time learning the parts. Okay, subscribe to this channel. It's Prog Music Lover. And yeah, stick around for the next video and we'll, we'll always be doing stuff like this, just learning more about music. All right, thanks.